Welcome to Think of It, and I'm your host, Joe King. And today we're talking about helium, the helium hotspot miners. Now look at all these hotspots that are going online. 46,000 now? I mean, now you're probably trying to compete with all these other hotspots to get more HNT. So you want to have the best antenna connection, the strongest antenna connection you could possibly have. So I'm going to show you a few hacks to improve your antenna signal strength and to extend your range. Now, let's take a look at this connectivity map right here, all these hotspots. View the map. Look at this. So you, you got to look at all these hotspots now. So, yeah, you want to be out there with a super strong signal so you can get the most HNT. So here's a few hacks for you. Hack number one. If you're going to use this little cheap basic antenna that comes with it to improve the signal strength on it, it's a real simple hack. It's been around for ages. Just wrap that antenna up in some aluminum foil. It doesn't matter what kind of brand it is or nothing. Just wrap it up in aluminum foil and watch your signal strength grow. You're going to be getting witnessed by way more hotspots. And you'll be witnessing more hotspots also. Trust me. Try this hack out. Just wrap your little antenna out on aluminum foil. Alright, so now if you if you went out and bought one of these antennas, one of these uh, rack wireless antennas, or I don't know what these things are called, but if you're going up on your roof to put up one of these antennas, safety first. Make sure you have a good sturdy ladder. And if you can't do it yourself, hire a professional. Make sure you wear a hard hat and if you have like an old parachute laying around, take it. Safety first. Because mistakes do happen. Last thing you want to do is fall down and crack your head and not be able to enjoy your HNT earnings. If you don't have a roof, you live like in a single story home, like a ranch style home. You also every street basically has these things they're called like street lights or a lamp post I don't know what they're called in uh, your city but we call them street lights here and I mean it's real easy you just uh, climb up to the top of it and you can put your antenna on this and wow that's what I did with mine because I really didn't want no ugly antenna on my house so I climbed up this uh, street light post and put this antenna up but the thing is, you can't have your cord all on the ground or all in the middle of the street. You don't want cars running over your cord and messing up your cord. So make sure you you can if you're hanging it up and and dragging it to your house, make sure it's at least probably eight or nine feet up in the air. So like when the garbage truck comes down the street, it doesn't yank your cord down and yank your antenna off. What I did personally, I parked this old car I'm not using. It doesn't even run. It has like a flat tire. And I just parked it right underneath this street light. And I got my, uh, I got my little Nebra in there. And I got the cord running down like the street light and going inside that car. And then I just have like an extension cord running out of my house. So, I mean, this is what I did. I mean... I think that's a pretty good setup. Let me know what you guys think. Another hack for better signal strength. And this one, you can find these things for cheap and they're super good. I mean, they're called satellites. Uh, everyone was telling me, like I was in the forums, in Discord, everyone said, oh, satellites won't work. Satellites do work. They shoot like a beam up into space to give you like a super strong signal. This should be your first option. You can go find a satellite for basically pretty cheap now. But the thing is, 
I mean, it's like the 915 millimeter signal or 915 signal, whatever that means. That the, you just got to make sure you get the 915 cord. It doesn't really matter. You could just um, get like a little adapter coming off that satellite. Make sure you got your 915 cord. Plug it into plug it into your little hot spot. It's gonna work. It works every time. I I did it at my house. I did it at my friend's house. You just need to make sure you got that 915 cord, and you could just. I mean, if the satellite already has a cord running off it, yeah, it's probably not a 915 cord. You probably need to get adapt an adapter piece, then get that adapter piece, then make sure you got a 915 cord and plug that cord up into uh, your hotspot. And wow, satellites shoot beams up into space. Oh yeah, and like if you're using your cheap little basic antenna, I'm. They're not that really good. I mean, you could try wrapping it in aluminum foil. That's going to boost your strength up a little bit. But for if you're just using that little basic antenna, I'm telling you, this used to work for me all the time. You just take a coat hanger, like put it into your cord in there, hook it up to your cord, and you want to like try to bend it into like a circle. Or you could even add two coat hangers together. And it's gonna work way better than this stock antenna. And you could even and these uh, these antennas are basically kind of waterproof too, because they're like just like a metal coat hanger. See, these are like weatherproof, waterproof. You don't gotta worry about nothing. So, I mean, understand if you want to upgrade to a better antenna, one of these ones you want to put on your roof or like a satellite. But if you're just using one of these basic cheap stock ones, definitely wrap it in aluminum foil. And if you want to step it up to take it to another notch, go out, get a coat hanger, wrap it up in aluminum foil connected to that wire. Wow, you're going to see so much improvement with your signal strength. I'm not even joking right now. Also magnets I mean magnets I mean you put like a magnet in each side of your antenna make sure they're strong ones so the wind can't blow them off but you clip them on put like one strong side magnet on one and one strong side magnet on the other one and it, you can feel the power it creates like this like the, it just creates more like radio power it boosts your antenna up a lot yeah, I mean, you you put this those magnets around that antenna, you're going to feel just like the energy is creating. So definitely, magnets definitely work. Put them like the opposite way, two opposite ways, they'll like be pushing apart. But if you could create some kind of bracket, I mean, some kind of bracket, and then put the magnets in there backwards and it's pushing out outward, outward apart, that's where you get the best boost, the best range boost. Because instead of like sucking the magnets into each other and just creating that beam straight up in the air, if you put them backwards in a bracket, it's like pushing out. It's like pushing the beam, like pushing like a big dome of like a radio beam to boost your signal up. So I'll definitely do, uh, do some experiments on that. All right, this is Joe King signing out. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what antenna you're using. Are you going to put any of these hacks to use? Please tell me in the comments. And we're a community, man, so we got to help each other out. You're welcome.